humans, I'm Mr. King. Hello, welcome to this past year paper discussion, K of February, March 2021, paper 22, part 2. So now we're going to talk about question 21 to 40. So let's go to question 21. Alright, okay, see, so let's look at Q21. Which statement about strong acid are correct? So, high concentration of hydroxide, no, it is not. Hydroxide is for alkaline. If it's acid, it has to be hydrogen ion. So, first statement it is incorrect. pH of 1, yes. Strong acid, pH value, okay, it is from 1 to 3. Correct. Completely ionizes, yes, because they are strong acid. Turns Demers paper blue in color? No. Okay, blue it is for alkaline. So therefore answer 2 and 3, C. Okay, next. Metal X reacts with non-metals Y to form an ionic compound with the formulas X2Y. So, okay, now you see, you can look for the charge of the uh, ions. Make sure it's so-called the cross method. Like how you determine the chemical formulas of the ionic compound. See, initially it was 2. So 2 you bring back to y become 2 negative. See, if it has nothing means 1. 1 you bring back to s become just positive 1. See, positive 1 means it has to be metals from group 1. So first it is correct, it cannot be group 2. See, why negative ions with 2 negative charge means it has to be from group 6. So third statement is correct, fourth is incorrect. So answer 1 and 3. So therefore, answer is A. Okay, then Q23. So which row describes the properties of silicon? See, if you, see, as you can see, as it goes from the top towards the bottom, you see both the density and boiling point increases. So you see, so from the table isn't okay, you have to find for the answer K okay, that can fit in between. Okay, in between the properties of carbon and germanium. So very obvious answer is A, two point three three two six five. Okay, then twenty four. See, a uh, metal beryllium it does not react with cold water, but it reacts with acid. Okay, but cannot get extracted from the ore by using carbon. So which means from here we know that it is less reactive than carbon. See, based on reactivity series, can remember, see, what is the position of carbon? Remember, okay, carbon is placed in between aluminum and zinc. So, which means carbon is more reactive than zinc. Okay, and from here, we know that beryllium is more reactive than carbon. So, that's the reason why it cannot get displaced by carbon. So, answer is A. Okay, then, why cryolite is used in the extractions of aluminum from the bauxite? Remember, see, the cryolite is used to improve the conductivity and to lower the, uh, the melting point. So, answer is B. Okay, it, it acts as a solvent okay, to improve the conductivity okay, uh, by, uh, by increasing the amounts of free moving ions. Okay, then 26. So, which statement about the uses of metals are correct? So, iron is used to make aircraft because it has a low density. No, it is not. It has to be aluminium. Copper good conductors of electricity to make electric cable. Yes, it is correct. Aluminium is used to make brass. No, remember, aluminium is not uh, being used to make brass. And brass doesn't contain aluminium. Okay, and Iron mixed with additive to make alloys that is used in plants. Yes. Okay, like steel. Okay, two and four. Donkey. Okay, which role describe the extractions of magnesium hydroxide and magnesium oxide? So effects of heat on the metal hydroxide. Okay, which is magnesium hydroxide. Can remember you see magnesium hydroxide it can undergo thermal decomposition to produce metal oxide. Okay. Uh, then, effects of heating with carbon. See, remember you see, where is the PCK? Okay, what is the reactivity series again? Okay, the first few metals. Potassium, sodium. Remember? Okay, carbon is placed in between aluminium and zinc. See, from here we know that magnesium is more reactive than carbon. So, therefore, can carbon displace magnesium? No, it can't. 
So answer is B. Okay, then where is the elements found in the periodic table? You see, melting point 3000 something. Compound catalyst, variables oxidation state. So from here, very obvious that we know it is transition element. Okay, next. Okay, how oxide of nitrogen can be formed again? Okay, remember, okay, oxide of nitrogen, it can be formed okay, by nitrogen reacting with oxygen okay, under high temperature in the car engine. So therefore, answer is B. 30. So which combination is used to make fertilizer? Remember, say fertilizer needs to contain NPK. A, B, C, D. Okay, which compound contains all three elements? There's only one. A, NPK. 31. Which process does not produce carbon dioxide? Okay, pretty easy. Okay, answer is B. Let me see. Photosynthesis okay, uses carbon dioxide to produce oxygen. Next, which substance is used as a bleach? Okay, uh, it is sulfur dioxide gas. Industrial uses of calcium carbonate, okay, remember, calcium carbonate limestone, it is used in the productions of cement. Okay, 34. Okay, propane reacts with chlorine, you see, alkane with halogen. So what's the condition needed? Remember, you see, alkane with halogen, it is what we call substitution reaction. Addition reaction only happens in alkene. Okay, this is alkane. Okay, and what's the condition needed for substitution reaction again? It is UV light donkey. And then which setter represent methane? Okay, remember, see, this is the composition of natural gas. Remember, you see, what is the main gas in natural gas again? It is methane. Okay, the main gas, so which means methane has the higher percentage okay, in natural gas. So therefore, answer is D. So statement describe the reaction between ethene and steam. Okay, remember, alkene with steam is what we call hydration. So remember, you see, alkene they will always undergo addition reaction. Okay, and hydration it is an example of addition reaction. So very obvious, we know the answer is B. Okay, alkene undergoes hydration with steam to produce alcohol and then 37 okay balancing equation see right hand side they how many carbon 5 multiply with 1 you get 5 see so left hand side you need to have 5 carbon so it has to be c5 right hand side how many hydrogen 6 multiply with 2 you get 12 so h12 so answer 37 b 38 Okay, see, which acid and alcohol reacts together to make ester? See, how do you uh, name this ester again? So you see, first, always locate the functional group first. So what is the functional groups in ester? COO. Okay, remember, you see, hydrocarbon is attached after the COO. They are all belongs to alcohol. Okay, and then the rest on the left, they all belong to the acid. So you see, for the acid, they how many carbon? 1, 2, 3, 4. 4 carbon butanoic acid. Alcohol, how many uh, carbon? 1, 2, 3. 3 carbon propanol. So and so, boy. 39. Which row can describe? Okay, uh, the process. See, molecule 1 to molecule 2. So what's the process called? Okay, the, so the most suitable one on the answer is B. See, uh, from monomers to polymers, it is what we call polymerization. Okay, what is cracking again? Cracking means, okay, the breakings of a large molecule into a smaller molecule. Alright, okay, then... Last one, okay, which one is protein? Okay, remember, you see, huh? in protein, isn't it? Okay, remember, you see, the monomers of protein, which is the amino acid, okay, the amino acid itself, okay, it contains two different functional groups. So, answer is A. You see, one monomers contains two different functional groups.
Okay, you see one side is A and another one, uh, another side is C. Alright, okay, huh? so that's all for this paper too. Alright, Ken, hope that this paper helps. Thanks. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. See you again. Bye.